Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get going in today's video, I wanted to discuss really quickly some of the controversies that have been happening in the MetaZoo world. Uh, first, there was a there's been a public dispute among between Chris Sires of Fab Unsealed and then Louis de George of Kitchen Table TCG. I know them a little bit from some of the other groups that and private groups that I'm in with them, and it is an unfortunate situation, but it really, other than maybe a brief mention that there has been an issue, not really gonna just not really gonna cover it at all, um, unless the situation escalates and it warrants more. So I'm just gonna say that now and then be done with that situation. There's also another controversy going on with another with a YouTube creator he was also posting in the MetaZoo Facebook forums. I haven't seen other places he has. I haven't done a whole lot of due diligence yet in checking out Reddit uh, in the MetaZoo subreddit and whatnot. But it is a conversation that's happening. It uh, revolves around the printing process, the printers that were for first edition, especially in China, and the Chinese printers that do a lot of the fakes for like especially with magic Pokemon and whatnot and how they may have somehow been involved or may not have been involved. I don't know all the story yet. I am currently working on a video that dives more deeper into that and we will get that to you in, in the next uh, couple of videos. So maybe the beginning of next week I'll have that ready for you. So with that said, I'm going to step away from this video and my lovely wife is going to take over. So here is the update for MetaZoo for November 5th, 2021. Welcome to Stormbless Games. Everybody, welcome back to Storm Blessed Games. I am Sheena, the other half of Storm Blessed Games, um, the most definitely lesser known half. Uh, if you are not familiar with me, Scott and I started Storm Blessed Games uh, a f quite a few months ago, and as school has started and I've taken over school, things have been a lot busier for me. So I've had to kind of step back a little bit, and he's stepped forward, but. Uh, tonight, the lucky guy gets to go see the movie Eternals, so um, can't wait to see what he thinks about that. Um, can't wait to um, to hear how it how it goes. Uh, he always loves to go and watch the the movies um, just before he gets. He likes to watch them when when they first come out, and then I will usually go and watch them again with him a second time in theater. Um, if not, then we watch them together at home. Um, but yeah, he's, he's definitely excited for that. And I can't wait to hear, uh, has anybody else seen the Eternals? Let us know what you think. Um, but let's move on to what we normally are going to be talking about. And, uh, normally as you guys prefer, we talk about MetaZoo, uh, just what, go, what's going on with MetaZoo and, um, just all the different fun things and the new things that they're releasing. And, um, so this is my first solo uh, video that I've ever done, so bear with me. Uh, it's not going to be as calm and, and as collected as Scott's, but, you know, that's kind of our whole marriage. So, um, let's see. What do we got here? So, uh, Mike, um, Mike, Mike Waddell uh, said that he is the voice of the Nightfall soundtrack, uh, which is dropping next week, so that'll be exciting. Um, so right now it is, what is it, November 4th. So uh, this is definitely after, obviously after um, the Halloween and stuff. So we're going to be kind of going through some of the Halloween stuff. But um, how was everybody else's Halloween? Did you guys have a good night? Uh, what did you guys do? Did you have fun? Uh, did you guys go dress up? Or did you just take your kids trick-or-treating? Or, -treating or uh, we'd, we'd love to hear what you guys did. We just kept it super simple. Um, our kids didn't get to be what they wanted this year because we are raising a couple geeklings. Uh, one, our oldest daughter wanted to be Gwen Stacy uh, with the whole Spider-Gwen outfit, and our youngest wanted to be Harley Quinn. Unfortunately, we could not find any costumes anywhere that even could remotely work as either of those. So they kind of had to make up their own, and our oldest daughter was a superhero butterfly, and our youngest daughter ended up being um, a, a black cat from Superman. No, oh, good grief, not Superman, Spider-Man. 
<laughs> I promise. I know my comic book's at least a little bit here. Um, don't tell Scott I said that, okay? <laughs> Just between you and me. Anyway, so back to MetaZoo. <laughs> um, so... Just a friendly reminder, if any of you guys that watch us are an LGS, which would be super awesome, um, that is one thing that we do want to become. We are slowly making our way there. And exciting news, we have 99 subscribers as of November 4th. Um, we are almost to our 100 subscriber um, step, and we are really excited about that. We will be doing a giveaway, and... Uh, we have just got our MetaZoo stuff, so I think that we're going to be giving away a little bit of MetaZoo. Um, definitely share our channel um, and uh, you know like the you know like our channel, share it, comment, and get get us over that hundred hundred subscriber mark, and we will be doing that giveaway. Um, Scott and I haven't quite figured out exactly what we're going to be doing, but I think we're we're pretty close um, and. You know, we've got to, <laughs> we've got to figure that out real quick if we're only at 99, if we're already at 99, excuse me. If you know that an LGS store hold, or an LGS holds that MetaZoo, but isn't on the store locator, send them a link. So, you know, definitely if you, if you know of anybody that does sell MetaZoo, but they're not on the link that's listed, um, send it to them so that they can, uh, to support not, I mean, we want, we would love to have any kind of support. So we try to support our local other game stores as well, uh, as much as we possibly can. And, um, they asked, Mike Waddell asked if anybody was giving out Halloween promo packs in Santa of Candy this year. I'm pretty sure that's probably not what anybody is doing because they are holding on to those packs. <laughs> I know we wouldn't be giving, I mean, I would not be giving, you know, MetaZoo anything to a bunch of kids. Um, if nothing else, just because we want to play with it all the time. Unfortunately, we don't get to. We are very, very, very busy. But um, we 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 love, we enjoy MetaZoo. We enjoy just all the different things, all the different packs. We're really looking forward to um, doing the next box opening. Um, so yeah, let's let's continue. So it looks like they had to cancel a tournament stream. It says here, we'll be doing a Halloween stream tomorrow at 11, which obviously this is already passed. Um, and, but you could go back and look at, at it for, you know, watch their videos, I'm sure. Um, for the openings and MZO matches, trivia, more Halloween fun with MetaZoo. Um, so like I said, a lot of this is outdated, especially because it's ho it was Halloween. Um, so forgive me. But um, MetaZoo is going to Emerald City Comic Con this year from December 2nd to December 5th. I would be curious to know, is anybody else going to that? We, unfortunately, will not be going. We don't, I don't even know where Emerald City Comic Con is. <laughs> I'm sure I could, I could look it up, but, um, uh, yeah, l let me know. Are you guys, is anybody on our channel or who's watching this, is anybody else going, anybody going to the, uh, Emerald City Comic Con? That would be really interesting, but Scott told me to just kind of show you guys, like, all these different little just these different little things of these cards and like a flying car and um I don't know this this artwork is just really kind of neat it always kind of just intrigues me a little bit just how like unique and different it can really be but you know it is all based off cryptids you know um so I know that everybody's excited there is a third magazine coming out or comic excuse me I don't have any information as to what but let's see if I put it put it down here so um, let's see it says here physical copy of the collector's dock for nightfall coming soon um, which I don't think is I don't believe that that's the magazine the battle of Loveland Castle um, that'll be really interesting has anybody actually read any of these I personally have not read any of the comics yet um, again Homeschool life, super busy. But physical copy of Collector's Dock for Nightfall coming soon. Um, let's see. MetaZoo hours begin now. At, ooh, ask me anything for the next hour. Obviously, again, this was from um, this was from Halloween, so it's again outdated. But 
it's kind of just a really neat, neat idea that he does, you know, just, hey, if you have any questions about what we do, you know, now's the time to ask. I, I really like that idea. Let's see. So they had the Halloween event and there, there was, you could go onto the Twitch, their Twitch channel. Oh, and so it was kind of exciting is the uh, wrapping papers. I'm going to go through these real kind of quick, just kind of skim through them. Um, Scott and I decided we were going to buy a couple of these. We bought the Ding Bell and this blue one here. Um, I really like this red one. I think it's really, really cool. And we liked the green one as well. We felt, and I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, we felt that they were very Christmassy and we liked that, but they weren't, they weren't what I would, I would never look at this and think MetaZoo. Now with the, the Ding Bell and the, this blue one here, let me actually, here, I can just pull these up so you can see them better. But with this one, I mean, it's most definitely MetaZoo. There's, there's no confusion. Um, this red one, it's just snowflakes, you know, um, I mean, I don't know if the shapes mean anything. I'm not quite as familiar with MetaZoo or with, you know, any of the stuff as Scott is, but correct me. I mean, it is, do these shapes like actually mean anything? But like I said, I mean, they just look at snow, they just look like standard Christmas snowflakes. So I thought it was really pretty and I would love to have it under the tree, but we could only buy, um, get a couple of them. And we just felt that that wasn't quite as MetaZoo-y as we like this one obviously with the the snowman and the snowball um and with the the very specific metazoo snowman we really liked um quite a bit so that's the one we got this other one this other christmas tree again it's it's cute i like it i like the colors i like um i just like the, the drawing of it but it just doesn't scream at metazoo to me it just screams christmas and you know, if I'm going to just buy Christmas wrapping paper, I'll go to Sam's or Costco or whatever. But um, if I'm going to be buying MetaZoo wrapping paper, I want it to actually be very MetaZoo, you know. If nothing else, just because we all enjoy it. Um, it's not like we're going to be giving it away to anybody. But I didn't. I, th I thought these were really cute. Um, let's see. And these will not be randomized. You will be able to buy the one you want as well as a bundle with all five. So um, I believe Scott said that these are actually sold out now. Um, if they do end up coming available again, Scott will definitely let you know um, on our YouTube and it'll be posted on Facebook as well. Let's see. The box that comes with each wrapping paper will be holographic, which is <laughs> really cool. Um, I think this is really, really neat just, I mean, everything of this is just, and the little trees in the background. I just love it. Um, yeah. So like I said, I think, I believe that this is all sold out. Um, we'll probably see it later as we come down and stuff, but let's take a look at this card. So I believe that they had, Scott had said this was a spoiler, but, um, uh, mistletoe, this looks like this is going to be a fun one. You must blow a kiss to target beastie or caster to contact contract to this page. If you blew a kiss to a page with Loveland in his name, lovingly send that page into its caster cemetery. I, <laughs> I could have so much fun with this one with Scott. <laughs> I would, I would most definitely lovingly send his creatures to the cemetery. <laughs> um, let's see, moving on. So we've only got, we got, um, only 35 Nightfall Playtester play tester sets were made. Um, so these are the, the Playtester cards, and I believe Scott's shown you these before. Um, but yeah, these gray border cards um, are the Playtesters. So um, let's see. And then we've got some more here. I don't think that I can zoom, can I zoom in any more than this. Uh, no. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you can just kind of see all the different um, cards that they have available for the playtesters. And um, if, let's go back here real quick. If you want to see any of these um, in further detail and you can't get on the Discord for for various reasons, I know, I know we have a lot of people who follow us who aren't able to be on the MetaZoo Discord. Uh, let us know. We can post these pictures um, in our, our comments, I believe, 
or at least on Facebook. Um, so let's see. So moving on, we're getting closer to like what's the most recent. But on the second, uh, Mike Waddell said each Friday on or each week on Fridays, we will be posting about different MetaZoo content creators. Uh, we should all celebrate the amazing work they put into the community. Let's all show them some love. And at first, <laughs> when Scott told me about this, I was like, oh, cool. Yeah, that's, you know, that's great. You know, for the artists, we can, I thought he was talking about like the artists, like the people who actually create the content. And he's like, no, that's like us. <laughs> I always tell him, I'm like, it's a good thing you married me for my looks. <laughs> um, but that would be really cool. I would, I would love it if we could, if we could be part of that. I, I imagine we're probably not quite big enough yet, but I mean, who knows? Uh, miracles do happen, right? Uh, so let's see, let's, this next one is March is still a ways away, but we are hard at work on Wilderness, our third set. Third set. The small spoiler of our chibi Bigfoot done by none other than Chris RWK. Can't wait for the next few months. Oh, it's cute. It's a baby. Look at that. That's, that's so cute. Yeah, we we really like MetaZoo quite a bit. We we have to make up time to play play more, but one of these days we will definitely be playing. Um, I know that there's a lot of people who do collecting and a lot of people who do playing. What do you do? Do you only collect MetaZoo or do you play? Um, who do you play with? How often do you play? I would love to hear that. Um, and we do love all of the comments that you guys put down. Sometimes we're not so quick about like responding, but just know that I sit there and I read every single comment that you guys post on our, on our YouTube. Um, and I just, I absolutely love it. Cryptid Con. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, is anybody here going to Cryptid Con? Um, I would love to know if that's something you guys are, or is it, if anybody's doing. Um, I actually got, I actually got to meet Mike Waddell. I didn't, I didn't know who I was talking to, but I was sitting there and talking, chatting with him while Scott was talking to somebody else. And, and um, he showed me a picture of him. I'm like, oh yeah, I met that guy. And he's like, you met what, Mike Waddell? I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, but he seemed really nice. I, I, I really like talking to him for just a few minutes. Um, let's see the pro support events this weekend. We'll have a prize support in the form of first, second, third, and participation medals. Uh, so those will get, so get those spell books ready. So, um, so here's that card. Uh, you must fatigue three to fatigue this artifact. And then fatigue this page to grant uh, plus 50 LP, plus 50 damage to all beasties under your control until the end of your turn. All effects afflicting your beasties are removed. Um, first place caster. So uh, you're number one, or at least you were at one point. Enjoy the perks. <laughs> I think that's funny. Um, so another, you know, MetaZoo hour. Um... And then yesterday, let's see, we're holding a nightfall giveaway on our subreddit. Uh, join the fun. And I believe Scott can just put this link down in our comments. I, 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 I admittedly, I don't really know much about Reddit or how it works. I, I feel really old sometimes. Um, but yeah, if it's something that, that he can put into our, um, our description he will so we are preparing for our first metazoo treasure hunt um, where special stamped promos of various cryptids will be hidden all around the US if you live in an area known to have cryptids that's encrypted nation and or base set and want to help us plant these special promos email Bob at metazoo and Ted at metazoo expressing your interest that would be really fun um, both to like help set up the treasure hunt and to participate in it. I, I'm sure you can't do both, but, um, doing either of those would, would be a blast. Um, what, what areas do you live in? That, do you have any like actual cryptids in your area? Um, right where we live, uh, in Arkansas, I think that there's like only, I don't remember. It's like the Ozark mountain beast or something. I don't remember, but it's only like the one. Whereas when we were, um, in Portland, there was quite a few more. Um, let's see. 
uh, the correct link for the application. So I'm sure Scott can put this in, in, in there as well if you would like. Is there anybody of our people who watch our, our stuff who are in Europe or the UK? Um, it looks like MetaZoo's got some really big news coming up. Um, so keep an eye on that and Scott will let you know when it happens. Um, and let's see. Good news, everyone. Um, oh, so the MetaZoo pins. Um, they are they ship in the week of November 18th, so that's just a couple weeks from now. Um, and let's see, Scott and I, we got five. Um, we got, I know we got this one. I know we got this one. I believe we got this one. And then there were some debates. So we, I know we've got the three. I think, I can't remember if we got him or not. And there's kind of some debates as to what the other two that we were we got. So, so I'm curious to know, did you guys uh, purchase any pins? If you did, what did you buy? Um, I can't wait to see them come in. I'm excited about that. So let me see. Scott said to also look. Let's see. At the MetaZoo socials. Uh, 10.22. Way too far. Okay. Yeah, we got our, we got our boxes in recently so um there's magazines um there's not a ton here let me see um each wrapping paper roll comes with a box of 10 christmas promo packs uh oh yeah so so yeah, each each wrapping paper roll comes with a box of 10 Christmas promo packs. Yes, the wrapping paper is holographic. Um, so that's really cool. I'm really excited. Once we get that wrapping paper in, we will actually show you guys what it looks like. Um, we'll pull it out of the box and... Um, let's see. And it says each, uh, each Christmas wrap, wrapper comes with a sealed box of 10 Christmas and New Year's pr um, promos. Let's see. Oh, and then also here's the new void sticker. Um, it's so funny because when when we first did this, Scott um, was just like totally enamored with this. He's like, this is the coolest thing ever. But I remember actually having this like when I used to work at Best Buy <laughs> a long, long time ago. Um, but I think it's really neat that they do that because especially with all the the fraud and the theft that's been going on uh, with a bunch of the cards where people open up the a pack and like take some cards out and reseal it. Um, I feel like this void thing is really, really good. Um, just kind of help protect you. Let me see. We've already gone through that. Um, yeah, we've gone through that. So Oh, here we go. In introducing Bigfoot, the official mascot of wilderness. How can you get more classic than Bigfoot? After showing up in Cryptid Nation base set, Bigfoot has seen, um, has been reimagined by Chris Kaepernick and will play the central role in our upcoming set, Wilderness. That'll be really cool. Um, I, growing up in Portland, and then we were in um, Helena, Montana for a while, I remember growing up with stories of Bigfoot all the time. I mean, there was there were stories everywhere about Bigfoot. Um, and then let's see, Cryptid Zoo ma uh, Nation or Cryptid Nation second edition is coming in hot. So, um, I think that's really all that's here. Let me see where, let me get back here. Okay. So, um, also if you, anybody is wanting to support us, um, we do have some things that we that we have available on our on our website um, that we we are selling currently. So you can definitely go to stormblessgames.com and you can do it on your phone or you can do it on the, the computer like you can with most things. I only say that because initially when we set it up, we couldn't do it on your phone. It was real bad. It was like 1990s website, <laughs> you know, um, but Scott was able to get it fixed. So, um, but yeah, we have, we have some things, we don't do a lot of singles so much anymore on our website. We, we do have some singles, um, but not quite as much. Um, and we are always buying bulk cards, 
Um, so if you're if you're looking to sell, we're always buying bulks of pretty much most of the games. Well, not most of the games out there, but we're like Pokemon, Magic, uh, Card Fight Vanguard, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> you know? um, let me see. Uh, tail, yeah, uh, Flesh and Blood. We're we're always buying, like I said, just all of that stuff. So. Um, excuse me. So, oh, also TCG player, you can find us on tcgplayer.com. Um, we are under storm blessed games. Um, we have really good rating. Um, we, every single time you buy something from us, I put a little handwritten note in there. Um, and I would honestly, personally, myself would be curious to know if any of you who have subscribed to our channel have actually come to our channel because of my handwritten note, have you placed an order with us? Because I always write, you know, thank you for your order. Um, and I remind people that they can find us on YouTube. So I would be curious to know if you have actually found us on YouTube through placing order with us. Um, yeah. And you see, oh, ch channel fireball. We also sell a couple things on channel, channel fireball. <laughs> Um, yeah, we got, we got a couple of these elite trainer boxes in recently and, um, all, you know, like MetaZoo always. So yeah, um, we, like I said before, we definitely have the hopes, um, and the dreams of oh, starting an, uh, an LGS store out here. Um, we have some that are, they're kind of on the outskirts of where we live, but we want to be more like in town, um, and we need your support. We just, you know, if you guys want to see us be able to open up a store, um, we definitely need you guys. Um, and we so appreciate, I mean, even just people commenting and liking and sharing our channels. I mean, that's so huge and I just absolutely love it. I love that you guys do that. Um, so yeah, um, I guess there really isn't much more to say. This is most, like I said, mostly just a MetaZoo. Um, I think Scott, we already went over all the announcements and stuff. So yeah, um, just let me know. Scott will back, definitely be back for the next MetaZoo video. We're going to be doing a, um, a box opening for MetaZoo. So watch out for that. Um, it'll probably happen sometime this weekend. I'm hoping. Um, yeah. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you bought any wrapping paper. Um, and I guess we, I, I we will talk to you later. Um, be blessed, you guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.